Hello everyone, Taylor here, and today, you guys, I am freaking out about the match we have today, okay? So we've got Wolves of Steel going up against Above the Line. Now, Wolves of Steel is one of my favorite teams of all time. They're amazing and fantastic, and I want Clark to be holding a belt. <laughs> um, I really, really want them to win this whole thing. Now, especially now that they took out Late to the Party, because I really wanted Late to the Party to shock everyone and take it the whole way. Um, but I'm nervous because Above the Line took out Nerds Watch, and they also took out DC Movie News. So they're not uh, someone to be messed with here, apparently. Um, so I'm really, really scared, but I know that we're in for it. an absolutely insane match. Oh, guys, I'm not ready. Okay, let's do this. The ultimate showdown team tournament. Yes. Uh -huh. up. Right. So I feel, I don't know about you, but I feel like uh, we should have gotten those damn belts. Hell yeah, they should have. It was, it was a little that was so disappointing. Her. Agreed. I still really want one. So, I know you're retired and everything for now, but can we have one more go? All we had to do was ask. Let's do it. Woo! I'm so excited. Oh, I love them so much. And Mark Riley, a former Movie Tribute Schmodown champion here in our midst, who said you were going to retire, you were just going to see this through with Clark to the end of this tournament. Out there, it looked like you you didn't miss a beat. You're still as strong as ever. So, are you? what what made you decide to come back? She's Aww, awesome. She's the classy one. She deserves a belt. If we can run the table on this thing, get her a belt, that's great. Then my job is done. But, you know, I'm a competitor too. One more run, get another shiny belt, another notch on the shoulder, hell yeah. We want that. I agree. I want it. I want that belt. When we lost to the Patriots, I was very sad, and I'm coming for it. And your winners are you, Riley, and Tessie Clark, the Wolf of Steel. As you say, it is all about the teamwork. What we've been seeing from the strongest teams in the league here thus far is that that it made me so sad. I love both of those teams so much. Say, like, when you I felt so on, bad for Lee to the party. Sure answer, Clark was right there with the answer for you. We're glad that it went our way today, but it was, uh, you know, we, we certainly were nervous going in because, you know, we knew what we were up against. So I think Riley and I both feel like we want another crack at that belt, so it's just baby steps. I have an option. I'm going to I'm going to put you on the spot here too. Yeah. I have oh someone that I think you would actually work with really well. All right. And Emma Fife asked this person about a teaming, and the person said, "Well, you know what? I'm not really that good with with on the words. I'm I'm usually there to just show up, do the trivia, be there." And that's Drew McWeeny. Drew McWeeny, who was Gosh. he was part this of a momentous moment for, for the show. The Godfather, yeah. three and one. People were touting him as the next best thing, the guy that was going to beat Roca, the guy that was going to beat Merle. They're talking about this guy as the best thing. You're pretty good in that, Mike. You got a lot of flair. I think you and Drew McQueen would be a tremendous team. You know what? Let's do it, Drew. And you're I was so sad when they beat her as well. Putting your strengths together was sort of magical. Well, that was the conversation we had before this, was as we started talking, and I realized, oh, okay, so you're strong, and then I've got this. And just in that first round, it felt like if I didn't know something, Sam did. So it, it was a good, like, I feel like this is the right combination. And I'm not going to say which ones, but there were a few in round two that uh, if I weren't sitting next to this man, maybe I wouldn't <laughs> have gotten right away. I might have needed multiple choices. One, James Stewart. And your winners! My They're just freaking taking out every single team that I love. Every single one of them.
Oh man, this is just gonna be, I'm not ready for this, you guys. Oh. Welcome back to the Ultimate Schmodown. I'm Christian Harlow. I'm Ken Napsok here for a semi-final match. Christian, this has been a long journey. It's been a long journey, and these two teams have earned the spot. You've got above the line Drew McQueenie, the Godfather, and the inglorious one Sam Levine challenging up against the Wolves of Steel. Now a vet team here in Classy Clark Wolf and the two-time champion Mark Yodi Riley. Um, I mean, look, some people had picked... Wolves of Steel to kind of get this far above the line. They didn't really know who they, if they were going to work together, they have proven to you oh, that yeah. they do work pretty well together. Oh, they work oh, pretty well Ken. together, I can tell you that. They uh, they may have robbed my smile from me, but I'm going to find it again, I hope. Wolves of Steel are kind of like that sentimental favorite. I think yep. a lot of people want to see this last run for Riley, maybe, and, and Clark Wolf deserves all the title shots and all the belts in the world to a lot of fans, and I would agree with that. So <laughs> that's I think one of my favorite of moments fan ever. support <laughs> behind. Well, I think that that's it. Uh, that's absolutely the story, is the fact that they are both some of those beloved figures that we've had since. I mean, Clark Wolf, Rookie of the Year last year, but she is now, she's been in this league for now over a year and a half. Um, she's had two shots at championship. She's very hungry. I know Clark very well. I've had these conversations with her. She, this is the most determined I've ever seen her in the Schmo now. Mark Riley legitimately was asked by her to do one more shot. They said yes, and here's that run. But they're running into a buzzsaw here with, with Sam yeah. and Drew, God. but both Clark and Riley have both played Sam before in close matches. Both have defeated him, but it's been close matches. They're very familiar with each other. Yeah, look, you can see in the past Sam's had some big losses. Uh, you know, Drew was anointed, and then and maybe that's too soon for any competitor. But I saw them firsthand work together. And you ever watch two people fall in love? This is this, this is, is about it. round two. You looked at they looked at each other's eyes and were like, "I'm home." It's funny you say that too, because even on uh, if you listen to the Schmodown Rundown and you hear the, the breakdown of, of those guys and what they're doing, they're talking about. They seem like they've been working as a team for a very long time. They're laughing together. They're kind of playing around. They just they're vibing. Wolves of Steel also vibing. Um, this is going to be a great match. I can't wait. The winner will go on to play either top ten or team action. God. That's going to be something. Final so, is going to uh, be. Let's let's get ready here, Ken. What's the uh, before we get to the tape? I want to hear from. What is the Schmodown doing to me? All oh. right, partner. So here we are. Hey, partner. Yeah. Semifinals. Here we are. This is my first go round at the semifinals in the tournament, mm -hmm. uh, in the team tournament, and. Um, it's going to be interesting. In spite of uh, how it may have seemed, this has not been an easy road. Uh, we had two very fierce competitors uh, in uh, DC Movie News and uh, Nerds Watch to get here. And today is, is going to be no small feat. Today, I think, is the real test of our medal. And a lot of people counted us out. Uh, against Slate to yeah, the Party. Yeah, what's up with that? Well, you know, I think they took out uh, Critically Acclaimed. Sure. And uh, that was a big win for them, and so they just naturally assumed that, well, when you have one good match, you have another good match, and then you just run the table. That's not how it works. Up until now, yeah. uh, we've been figuring the chemistry out as a team, and we've been trying to learn the game as a team, and I, I feel like each match, uh, we've learned a little bit about how to play this. Uh, and I'm glad that this was third, because I do feel like, based on what I've watched, based on the matches I've looked at, um, we're going to go, like, point for point. Above the line yeah. is two serious yeah. heavy hitters in combined into one. Yeah. Uh, I faced Sam one-on-one, -on -one, which was probably the sweatiest match I've ever had, and then I was very nervous. Um, and, uh, and Drew is, like, a monster. So oh, he's the nicest person ever, but he's also... A monster at the game. I have competed against both Clark Wolf and uh, Mark Riley heads up, and uh, they know their stuff. This is this is where I am very happy to have a man like Drew McQueenie by my side. <laughs> so if we can get through these two, uh, you know, giants in the movie trivia right, right. Uh, field here in the Schmodown, which we can do, we are one step closer to the belts. You know what, Wolves of Steel? Here's what's going to happen today. A goddamn match with a couple of gentlemen and a lady, and it's going to be glorious. Oh, I we love that. really wanted to win the belt Dang against it. the Patriots. The Why did both of these teams have to be so awesome? This I just don't want I Wolves really to steal or retire. Uh, and now we're getting so much closer. We're getting so Ugh. much closer. And it would be a real shame if this was the end. So let's, how about make this not the end? I like that. I like that.
Let's let's do that. Let's go with that option. A lot of nice words, as we said. Sounds before. like a good Jack option. Wants to me. that shot at the title. Riley wants another title. Sam and Drew want to prove together they are. They say it. They are a legit team now. They want to prove it one more time. And Drew said it as much too. The Wolves of Steel is they're. they're they're in the big leagues right now. In the team league, they're in the big leagues. The Wolves of Steel have played for the titles, came very close against the Patriots. So here we go. All right, Ken, give me the tail of the tape. Hey, a lot of respect between these two teams. Wolves of Steel, we kind of know their strengths by now if you've been following them for a while. Horror thriller, scores and soundtracks, classics, Oscars. They're a very well-rounded team. Above the line, their strengths, well, I can tell you, it's, it's Oscars, it's classics, it's 1970s, it's 1980s, 1990s, 2000s. When were movies made? That's their strength. <laughs> All right, well, I'm ready to get going. How about you? I'm ready. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Movie, movie Trivia Schmodown! Oh, oh gosh. Three rounds in the semi Guys. <laughs> Introducing oh, here we go. first. With I do love their intro music. Of two wins. No defeats with one knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the Godfather, Drew McQueen, the inglorious one, Sam Levine, above the line. They are calm and collected. Oh, calm and collected. Both in black. I like this attitude that both of them have. Drew McQueen and Sam Levine here starting to become a dominant force in the movie trivia schmode. And their opponents. Representing Collider with a record of five wins. gonna have a cool costume. Two this defeats time. and two. We're just the awesome Wolves of Steel shirts. Ladies and gentlemen, Classy Clark Wolf Mark Yodi Riley, the Wolves of Steel. Oh, what? scary and oh, intimidating. Interesting. Wow, look at that. What are they doing here? <laughs> <laughs> Look at Sam. He's, he has really no idea what's going on. Same. I feel you. Ooh, they got some dance moves going on. I can dig it. I can dig it. I can dig it. Oh, oh, oh! oh there, is it. there we go. They got the shirts. So the Wolves of Steel here. I'm going to tip Riley after. Yeah, they're coming in hot here. They're, again, Sam has experience with both Clark and yep. Riley. Yeah. So maybe he's a little revenge on Sam's part. Uh, you know, if he's motivated by that. That's they true. all seem so nice it's and true. respectful That's here true. today. They just may, may the best team win, you know? <laughs> all right. Well, here we go. <laughs> Round number one works like this. The competitors are going to get eight here questions worth one point apiece. They'll have 15 seconds to answer the questions. When it is their time to answer, they will show their answer to the camera say it at the same time do not forget about the jte rule do not forget about the challenge rule if you need either one of those rules explained please ask and we will explain them all right so wolves of steel are you ready yes sir ready above the line are you ready we are indeed, indeed. well let's get ready to schmoda oh my god here we go all right here we go um Question number one in the realm of directors. Who directed Dances with Wolves? That was a movie that came out. It did. Yeah. It, I never saw it. I, it did. I, I think. Did, but I, I, I liked it. When they I'm pretty it. sure. Five, four, three, two, one. And Mark Yodi. Kevin Costner. That is correct. Drew? Okay. Maybe Kevin Costner. That's correct. Clark? Non-English Robin Hood. Kevin Costner. <laughs> yeah, and Sam. Get you a man who can do both. Kevin Costner. <laughs> that is correct. All right, so there we go. Oh, two, man. Two. Sam is really two, winning two, me over two. these uh, past couple. And next question. All right, category Months. is comedies. Who plays Dana's neighbor, accountant Louis Tully, in 1984's Ghostbusters? Okay, that I don't know. I'm able to get this. I'm, uh, wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to get it. I'm with Ken on this one. I haven't actually seen Ghostbusters. I know you haven't. I know. Five. So. Four. <laughs> I have no idea. Three. Two. One. Drew. Oh, that would be the great Rick Moranis. That is right. correct. Clark. The Canadian gem, Rick Moranis. <laughs> that is correct. Sam Levine. Hollywood, we miss you, Rick Moranis. All right, I'm Mark Riley. Come out of retirement, <laughs> Rick Moranis. Wow. Right, so look at four, that. Four, Two perfects four, four so here. far. Right, Dang. Next question. Uh, in the category of fantasy sci-fi, in the fantasy comedy Pleasantville, Name the two actors that play David and Jennifer who get sucked into the 50s sitcom. <sighs> Is that your new thing? Mm, I just it's like one of the Skeksis in uh, Dark Crystal. Oh, you know, that movie scared me. 
Uh, they only sold once. Scott Mansell today. Five. Four. Three. I'm just kind of guessing. Two, I don't one, know. Clark Wolf. I don't know. Uh, Reese Witherspoon, Toby Maguire. That Dang correct. it. Sam Levine. Reese and Toby. That is correct. Uh, Yodi. Toby Maguire, Reese Witherspoon. Drew. Uh, Reese Witherspoon and Toby Maguire. Wow. All right. They so all got go. it again. Perfect so far. Perfect so far. Dang. Category is horror thriller. Question four. Christine Brown gets a curse placed on her soul when she denies an old woman a mortgage extension in what Sam Raimi thriller? This is why I only rent. <laughs> you won't do it. Yeah. You ever see that horror reaction? I think. I did. It's great. Five, four, three, two, one. Sam Levine. I laughed because Clark and I talked about this one yesterday. Drag me to hell. That is correct. Drag Yodi. Drag me to hell. Drew. Uh, that would be drag me to hell. Clark. La me on. Drag me to hell. <laughs> there you go. All right. So eight, eight here. Look at that. Dang. <laughs> no one has missed yet. Yeah. This is All right, cool. Next, this should be like a finals question, match, you guys. In action adventure. Who directed Lethal Weapon? Lethal Weapon first. Lethal Weapon. Yeah. I'm too old. Uh, <laughs> Reference to right. it. Got it. What did we mention? Five. Four. I have three, no idea. Two. One hands down, please. And Mark Yodi Riley. Richard Donner. That is correct. Nice. Drew. That would be Richard Donner. Clark. Correct. Richard Donner. And Sam. Where's his star on the Walk of Fame? Richard Donner. Uh, wow. Have not missed. No. Not missed. no. One has missed. No, not yet. They, right, there could be four perfect rounds here, right, and guys, I would not question be surprised six. at this point. Oscars. Who won an Academy Award for playing accused spy Rudolph Abel in Bridge of Spies? Oh. A lot of fun to watch these guys. Yeah, it's intense. The crowd's Good. intense, more intense. Yeah. And five, four, three, two, one. Drew. Uh, Mark Rylance? That's correct. Right. Clark. Mark Rylance. Correct. Sam. Mark Rylance. Wow. And, and Mark Yodi Riley. Mark Rylance. Mark wow. That's not missed, by the way, since the lesson started. Here we go. Next, yeah. next question. Next question. In the category of animated, animated. Okay. Who voiced Lumiere in 1992's Beauty and the Beast? Oh! Uh, I have no idea. Blank stare here. I wasn't even born yet. <laughs> I mean, I love that movie, but Five, four, I don't know. Three, Damn. Two. Repeat the question, please. Who voiced Lumiere? I don't in even have a guess. I have no idea. Beauty. No. One pens down, please, and Riley. No idea. Okay, Drew. Uh, Jerry Orbach. That's correct. It. Clark. Uh, I didn't. He. Okay. Uh, nothing. <laughs> I thought. I, I thought he Sam? voiced Cogsworth. No, he did not. And Sam, nothing. No, I couldn't come up with wow. Jerry. Wow. So only Drew. That's the first time that wow, these that they wiped three of them out. Still still Perfect. Right. All right, Damn. here we go here. We're going to have question eight, guys, which is in the category of famous actors and actresses. Drew playing for a perfect round. What dark comedy stars Meryl Streep, Goldie Hawn, and Bruce Willis? <laughs> Crowd's finally to life. They don't like that question. Like that question. They don't like right. it. Yeah. Oh, Jerry, we're back. That's going to bother me. Years. I was oh, rousing. poor Sam. Well, Rousing Lumiere Four. in a camp production of Beauty. <laughs> <laughs> Two, That's one, awesome. heads down, Sam. Oh, death becomes that is correct, <laughs> Riley. Oh, until death do us part. Oh, oh. oh true. Oh, yeah. Uh, death becomes her. And Clark. Death Dang. becomes her. Wow. wow. All right, so Dang. Drew McQueen was perfect that round, so right. he will get the wow. question. Wow, I can't believe it only here. Drew got a perfect right. round so after Drew, that. You're the only one that needs to answer. That you was to write insane. It down. You answer. Here's your bonus question. What is the first film? To win the Academy Award for Best Picture, Wings. Correct. Oh wow! Oh, look look at that. Sixteen, wow. thir the first thirteen. Place. There, Bob back to as back. Bob he's done. Player, I mean, they played yeah. incredible in that first round, and they're still down three points. That's just how good. A My mind is you know, blown. They're still in I, the game. That's they're right. oh, they three points. Be, <laughs> scared off. No, yeah, I don't know. But impressive for Drew. I quit. I'm done. As, uh, <laughs> 
Yeah, that's that's insane. That was scary stuff to Glad watch that, that I'm not okay. actually in the Schmo down because if I ever had to play above the line, I would probably cry. Like like, I the give competitors up. will get six <laughs> questions in round or two. Or Wolves is too. If I had to play either of those teams, I'd be like, I'm very ill suddenly. I can't. You can spin again if you don't like the oh, category gosh. you get the first time, unless of this wheel round though it choice. could really All right, so above make or break it for one of these teams, man. This wheel is we defer. All right, so the uh, wheels of steel are gonna have a chance. This wheel here, can be pretty it. mean, so. Good spin, my guy. Come on, Clark. Good spin. Solid spin. Oh! Oh! Wow! Did it. So we don't like them. Spin, spin, spin. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> you, are you guys, do you want to stay? Do you want, I gotta oh, say, I do love both lines dynamic together. They're freaking I'm hilarious. Sure that was Clark. What? What? <laughs> all right. Well, well, all right, we'll stay. You're gonna stay. Right. Okay, right, good. Here we go, guys. Good. Here we go. Come so, on, yeah, rock this, you guys. You got this. This round is not as ace in the hole. Wasn't that great for us a couple rounds ago? But we'll see what happens. All right, guys. Number one. Based off the characters created by George A. Romero, what now popular director wrote the screenplay for 2004's Dawn of the Dead? James Gunn. Two points. Nice. Yeah. All right. Who plays FBI agent Will Graham in 2002's Red Dragon? Edward Norton. Two more points. Wow. More. There we go. This is what right. I'm talking about. What does Hank set ablaze at the end of A Simple Plan? Multiple choice. Is it A, a wrecked airplane, B, a house, C, money, D, clothes? Money. That's correct. Nice. Four points. There All right. Be. Okay. Question number four. What is the name of the novelties company in Halloween 3, Season of the Witch? Silver, Silver Shamrock. Two more That's points. Correct. Oh, wow. All right. So number... Happy, happy Halloween. All right. Number five. Number five. Here we go. All right. In Nightmare on Elm Street, what was the first item Nancy brought back from her dream? I love how they always confer on every single question. His hats. Two Fantastic more points. teamwork. Wow, look at this. Uh, look at that. Final question here. Final question. Final question. Who played Paul Walker's father, Judge Lytton Mandrake, in The Skulls? Whoa. Deep cut there. Multiple choice. Is it A, Jeff Bridges, B, Robert Duvall, C, James Caan, D, Craig T. Nelson? I always kind of wonder how they talk it out, what they say Three, in the little bit of time that they have. Two, uh, repeat the question. Just competitors in general, like Paul what Walker's the teams father, talk about Judge and how they... Mandrake How they go the about skulls. it. A. Jeff Bridges. B. Robert Duvall. C. James Caan. D. Craig T. Nelson. James Caan. Correct. Right. Uh, Craig T. Nelson. For one point. Dang. There you go. So 22 17. Can't be giving up now. points in a, a match great like this. Round, great round by the Wolves yeah. of Steel. As it's alright though. The Wolves of Steel is a really strong team. Now, so. We had a chance to yep. spin. Alright, so oh. Drew, please give it a spin. There okay. we go. That dreaded 70s this time. Yeah, they're not on there. I noticed that. But other decades are. <gasps> they did it again. Oh, wow. Spinner's choice. Oh, second one in a row. Second one in a row. Again. Spinner's Dang. choice. Dang. Global Line might be the luckiest team we have in the Shmoda. I mean, chosen by the gods. The fates are in their corner. It is. Wow. If this were any other match, Wolves of Steel, I think, this. would be dominating at this the point. The but 80s. this is just. Big strength for, for Sam, obviously. And it might be a strength for Drew, considering he hosts a show called 80s All Over. So, uh, just, just a little bit. Um, just a little bit. Oh, I'm here for it. just learning about this now. <laughs> I'll send you a link. Okay, great. All right. All right, guys are going to get six questions in the category of 1980s movies in the 80s. River Phoenix played a teenage version of Harrison Ford in Indiana Jones in The Last Crusade. In what film did he play Ford's son? The Mosquito Coast. Two points. Correct. <laughs> Who plays the rookie pitcher in Bull Durham? Right. Right. Tim Robbins. 
That is correct. That is correct. Two more points. Ooh. All right. All right. Wolves of Steel is going to have some catch-up to play here unless in they can steal some points. In which 1980s comedy do Dan Aykroyd and John Candy play bickering brother-in-laws on vacation? Sam knows it? It seems like. Great Outdoors. Yeah. That is correct. Two Dang. More. Question number four. <laughs> All right, guys. Very old. Fourth question. Fourth question. What 80s action comedy features the characters of Jack Walsh, Jonathan Mardukas, and Marvin Dorfler? <laughs> Midnight Run. That is wow. Correct. Two more That's points. God, more they are just a beast of a Fifth team. Question. Fifth question. Which member of the Goonies in the Wishing Well says the following? Yeah, you know what? This one. This one right here. This is my dream. It's my mouth. wish, and it didn't come I true. actually so know I'm this question. I'm taking them all back. Oh, man. Five. Four. Oh. Sure again, it's only one of these movies so far I've actually Which seen. Which member of the Goonies in the I mean, out of the 80s ones. The <laughs> yeah, you know what? This one. This one right here. This was my dream, my man, wish, and they're really it talking didn't come it out. true. So, so I'm legit. taking it back. I'm taking them all back. Five. Four. You mean the actor name or the character name? Character name. Three. Oh. Two. Mouth. That's correct. Damn. Wow. Man. His real name is Clark. Clark. That's right. That's right. <laughs> all right. So this is the final question? Uh, yes. This is your final one. Six Damn. question. What is the name of the large beast that Sarah befriends in Labyrinth? Ooh. Oh, Clark! Oh, poor Five, girl. Four. We'll take multiple. A. Ludo. B. Ambrosius. C. Sir Didymus. D. Hoggle. It's Ludo. That's correct for a point. Wow. Poor Clark Wolf. That's one of our favorite movies. That's right. And a six point lead. That was a six point lead going into the last round. That's insane for the kind of match that Wolves of Steel has been playing so far. Yes. All right. So now we get to round number three. Round number three, we're going to go like this. The competitors are going to get three numbers from one to 20. The first one is worth two points, the second one is worth three, and the final is worth five points. Point. All right, above the line, you guys are in the lead here. Please pick three numbers from 1 to 20. Uh, we're going to go 9, 3, and 12. 9, 3, and 12. And Wolves of Steel. Here we go, Wolves. 5, 4, three. 11, 4, 19. Good four. numbers. And 19. All right. So I'll ask the Wolves. All right. The Wolves of Steel will go first here in order to try to avoid. Come on, TKO. guys. Come now, on. Good categories. Here. Good categories. So now we're going to start with number 11. Number 11 for the two pointer. And that's Holiday Movies. Ooh. Who's going to take it? I think we don't Wolves see that one a lot. I don't know if we've ever seen that one. Probably have. But. I'll, t I'll take it. All right, Mark Riley's going to take Mark. it. Come on, Mark. Holiday movies. Come in on. Home Alone, who plays Gus Polinski, a polka band player who offers to take Kate back to Chicago? Uh, John Candy. Two points. Nice. Yeah, two nice. points. All right. So Come on, Clark. Back here. They're going to have to get, they're gonna have to get this to one. Get All right, so Clark Wolf now is going to get the three-pointer for rom-coms. Come rom -coms. on. Oh. Come All on, right, Clark. You Clark. got this, girl. For your three-pointer. Was opposite Julia Roberts in Hugh Grant. Hill. Hugh Grant. The three points. Very nice. All right. Very nice. All right. And now your five. Come on, pointer, guys. Your five pointer in order to send it back to above the line. However, if they miss, then above the line will win via TKO. Damn! Oh my five gosh. Pointer. Five pointer is. You know, with how well they've been playing, they could get That's TKO'd. Pixar, Pixar movies. <sighs> All right, so your final question. In Toy Story 3, who voiced the Ken doll? Michael Keaton. For five. Oh, my God. Look at that. So there we go. Oh, so that's still, they're still alive. Oh, my God. This is the same thing that you guys did.
They could still win if above the line misses like two questions, but I don't know if that's gonna happen. Oh my god. Scores and soundtracks. Scores and soundtracks. Who's gonna take that one? Oh, 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 there's some discussion there. I'm in. Drew, you'll be taking okay. a two-point question. Two-point question. Lisa Loeb's Gen X hit Stay plays over the closing credits of what Winona Ryder movie? Reality Bites. That's correct. Damn. Two points. Yeah. Right. So now it just comes God. down to Sam Levine who can win the game here with oh the three-pointer. If he nails the Wolves three, still Sam could lose with 32 will points. Win and advance to the finals. All right, all right. This is, you chose the number three. That is comic book movie. Perfect. Three-point <laughs> question. That's what I was hoping for. Three-point question. What Firefly and Serenity star provided the voice to the oh, one of the Nathan Fillion. prisoners in Guardians of the Galaxy? What Firefly and Serenity star provided the voice to one of the Klein prisoners in Guardians Kill of the Galaxy? Prisoners, maybe. It's Nathan Fillion, though. Five. Alan Tudyk. Oh. Is incorrect. Incorrect. Looking for Nathan Fillion. Wow. Nathan Guys, it was Fillion. a 50 50 shot. So, 50 50 So now it comes down to oh the my five God. pointer for above the line. If they hit it, they oh. win the game. If they miss it, the Wolves will make it to 30 the final. Or 35 32. Wow, question, Ken. And whoever right, loses guys, will have at least 12, 30 that points. That's insane. Of Movie characters. How is this not characters. a finals match? Five God. points. Name the film in which you'll find suburban characters with names like Lester Burnham and Frank Fitz. Oh, he knows it. That would be Best Picture winner, American Beauty. And oh. your winner! Yes! Advancing into the finals! Oh, I can't. Beating the Wolves of Steel by three points. I do. Five points. They have now beat the record. They beat that the record, and Wolves of Steel lost that is the most with points 32 points. Of all time. 35 points, but in order to do it, they had to beat the Wolves of Steel to score 32. God. I, you know, I, I just got to I can't it's, even believe that's the score that yeah, I'm that seeing right now. Applause. I just... Great match. I, I, both teams, that it was, was a great big, match. That was two Titans. Oh, they both played super, God. super tough. Um, amazing, amazing match there both. Clark Wolf was on fire. Riley was on oh, fire. Um, I mean, that was an incredible Cruz, match. I mean, they, nobody had a bad game. No. You no. Have to wonder for Riley what the future holds. I'm curious to hear what he has to well, say. Well, we're going to find that out in a second. But we're also going to find out what's the future for Above the Line. They're 3-0 and now, beating really quality teams here. And now they sit back and they wait to see who plays, who wins between top 10 Oh my God. Team action. I mean, that's that's something. That's I, also I, I really gonna be something there, action. but for a whole different well, I'm reason. Not, I'm not too excited to get to the finals right now. Um, unbelievable. All right, so Jen Sturger is back there with the line of Wolves of Steel. Here we go. What's up, Movie Trivia Schmodown fans? I'm Jen Sturger here with Above the Line. Guys, that was an incredible match. You got to be pretty pumped at the result. Uh, that was a lot of fun, and it was exactly what we thought it would be ahead of time, which was. Point for point, we would go uh, opposite them, like right down to the last moment. And that's what we thought it would be. And you had an incredible match. This is two perfect matches for you. I mean, do you feel like there's a little bit of pressure mounting at this point? Um, yes, uh, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> um, but it's, but one awesome. of the things that's been really great wow. is the uh, momentum when you start to feel that happen, uh, I think is really energizing. And so th it's been, uh, these have been the most fun matches I've had so far. Were you a little bit nervous now when they hit Hara that second round? Oh, we were very nervous when they hit Hara that second round because that was pretty much the same as us hitting Spinner's Choice. Mm -hmm. I, as soon as they said that, look, Clark is great at what Clark knows, and she has a level of depth and expertise there that I knew even if they threw her hard questions, she'd have it. So they really came, came out swinging as a team, and that was a crazy round for her. It was. And the fact that we were able to steal a point on that round is nothing short of a miracle. Now, are the Wolves just that good, or were they just getting lucky out there? Oh, they're that good. They're, oh, I, yeah, they, they are. Everything, it, literally, I think it was, the you know, the, the 
we came very close to missing one. And I think, <laughs> thank God, uh, we had a team situation because Sam really talked me off the ledge, and it would have made all the difference. So yeah. one question can make the difference. One question would have turned that game around. Now, Sam, you had a little bit of a rough time in the third round. Were you freaking out a little bit at that point? No, I wasn't too freaked out because, uh, you know, I, I knew we still had the five-pointer, and the fact that we could confer over the five-point question, uh, I knew even if I missed the three points. And, you know, once again, that was a 50-50 shot for me. I, I knew it was either Alan Tudyk or Nathan Fillion, and I'm not familiar enough with the movie to be, oh, I know that sound. So I took a shot, and unfortunately it was wrong, but uh, but I, I felt okay knowing we had the five-pointer still to go. Now, going into the finals. Yeah. Who would you rather face? You know, there's some tough competition still. I, uh, look, I, I've seen both teams in action. I think no matter, pun not intended, but <laughs> but I think no matter who we go up against, it is going to be um, genuinely a test of what we've put together so far. But the trash talking will be much higher with team action. Of course. Of course. Magnificent, epic levels of it. I'm, well, it depends. I, I think they towards us, as far as us towards them, uh, We've got somebody who's carrying a grudge, so. <laughs> yeah, about that grudge over there. Yeah, yeah. Sam, so here's who would I'd, you rather face? Here's why I'd like to, to play against Team Top Ten. I've never actually played John Roca, but if you've ever been on the Schmodown and been sitting at the desk and Roca is anywhere in the building, he will <laughs> act as if you have played John Roca and lost. <laughs> <laughs> and that shit stops now. Damn. Roca. Call him out, Levine. Calvin Klein, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Damn. I see you in the ring, sir. Not bitter at all. Oh, I oh, will just really, that, was a, that was a tough match. No. Yeah, that match sucked. That sucked. Man, no. to play that damn good. And, I mean, hats off to, to uh, above the line. I mean, those guys are good. But to play that damn yeah. good and lose... Fucking sucks, man. Oh, Riley. Yeah, that's how you know you're playing a really good team. Um, yeah. Is you can have a good game and still not win. Yeah, yeah, one of our best. Um, and uh, you know, it's un I think it's a bummer because mathematically, if we hadn't given up a handful of those points, yeah. we would have won. Yeah. We would have won by one point. Yeah. Um, and you know, when you play these matches, every single point counts. Yeah. Um, and so, uh, you know, I think we just we we played it safe. Uh, when maybe we shouldn't have. Yeah, we should have gone on that. We knew simple plan. We knew it, and we played it safe. We shouldn't have played it safe. Not not with a team like that. I'll I'll be watching them. But man, does that just you know kiss my ass? Yeah, I think when you guys landed on hard that second round, everyone just assumed it was a perfect round. It was going to be in the bag. And like you said, Clark, those questions are much harder. Then yeah. people, they just assume because you're you're an expert at it that you're just going to nail all of them. But th that's a hard round. Yeah, it's a definitely a hard round. And also, I mean, it's not just straight horror movies. You're definitely getting into thriller as well. You're getting outside the box. Yeah. Um, and it's not a lock, but we, we felt like, you know, with the with the randomness of the wheel, what were our odds of spinning something that could have been just as good? We right. could have got something that we didn't feel good. We could have gotten uh, opponent's choice. Right. So, uh, so we decided to sort of stick there. And I don't think that was a mistake. I think we... we did a pretty good job. No, you gotta look. You have one point in that round. Yeah, exactly. And let's be real, above the line is a strong team, am I right? They're, they're a very strong team, but we know we could have beat them. We're the best, yeah. one of the best teams they in here. They could have, And yeah. like I said, I will put Sam Levine and Drew McWeeny are two of the best competitors in this uh, tournament. Uh, two of the best guys ever. But competitive, no, yeah. we want to win. We could have won, and that's what really sucks. Mark, you know, you've, you've talked about it a little bit, and, and there's been rumblings about no. it, that this could have been your last match, you know? What's next for Wolves of Steel, and what's next for you? Well, yeah, unfortunately, i got to stick to what I said and what I need to do, which is step down for a while. No! Um, so I will be. i got to be doing a lot more work at Collider. Uh, I, like I've said, I really wanted that belt. The thing that stings so much is to get that close and letting my partner down, because oh, I've been no. wanting to get that belt on her it shoulder. Well, thank you. Um, she's the best, the classiest in the business. You're going to watch her go far. I don't what I, I really don't know what to expect with Wolves of Steel. For now, i got to step down. But I'm going to watch her kick ass through the tournament because she's on fire and deserves it, though. Mm. Yeah, Clark, speaking of, you have that big match coming up against Brienne. How are you feeling going into that? Yeah, you know, I mean, look, I, it's never fun to play when you're coming off of a loss, but I think that um, I'm ready to jump into the singles tournament for right now, and um, and this will be a good first match, so hopefully I'll stick it out, and um, and it'll be, a fun, it'll be a fun tournament. 
I'm looking forward well, to that at least. The they still still have Clark. <laughs> she's the best in the biz, and it's been a pleasure being your teammate. Come here, give it here. Oh, I know. I'm gonna cry, you guys. All right, we're we're gonna talk about above the line, but I mean that was what we expected. Mark Riley officially calling his retirement, saying that is the last time we're going to see. Uh, Why? Why does everyone want me to suffer? <laughs> Step back. Clark Wolf has the singles tournament. She's gonna be playing uh, Rianne Chandler in the first round. It was a little, a little emotional seeing yep. them there. They they said goodbye to one another. As far as the, a lot of great memories that they had, they were a team member back in the decision. So it was uh, bittersweet for me seeing a great team like above the line. But then seeing some of the best, I mean, Wolves of Steel is one of the best teams we've ever had. And all, all the leaves have turned and the, and the ground is gray or whatever the song is. It's not a music trivia contest. Um, so it was very sad. It was very sad. But then yeah. the, the opposite side of that is watching above the line and how excited they are. Yeah. They broke the scoring record. Jen, of course, asked them about that. The, 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 they, they did that right after top ten. And you knew Sam was going to take some shots at Roka because that's what Sam does. And, he, and the fact that he could rub it in at Roka and the fact that he just beat them. Now he... he they're a young team. They've been in this league now for like a, a little over a month, and they've yeah. broken the scoring record. They're 3-0. and They're going to the finals, possibly against Roca. Who the hell knows? But this is a little fun little rivalry we have between yeah. uh, Sam Levine and Roca here. Yeah, it absolutely is. I hope we get to see team, that right? rivalry fun actually come I mean, to something. That they would say that, but it's fun to watch. And then Drew McWeeny, who is just on a mission. I mean, we maybe it is time to say, like, what all the maybe those accolades when he first came into it, maybe it's okay to give him those because, like, yeah. if you see what he is doing, Clearly the MVP so far in the in the tournament this year. Yeah, I, I, I absolutely, I'm stunned. All right, guys, so above the line, going to the finals, who are they going to play? Will it be team action? Will it be top ten? What's going to happen? What's going to happen with Clark Wolf? Is she just going to go into singles? Will she have a new teammate? What's going to happen? Keep on commenting. Make sure you go to the movie Trivia Schmodown Facebook group. Comment there. Like there. Do everything that you can. Keep sharing these. This is how we get more and more of these really great matches. Bittersweet uh, end here for the Wolves of Steel. But, man, they went out on their swords here, Ken. 35-32. Absolutely. Record-setting performance indeed. All right, make sure you check out the Schmodown Rundown on the SK Plus channel. Check out um, everyone else here that's doing these wonderful reactions and, and comments and all the... Thank you guys so very much. We will see you very soon when we're going to get that match here between Team Action and Top 10. You guys, I just... No! Why do we have to lose Wolves of Steel? Ah! <laughs> Man, that really sucks. I'm really sad that Wolves of Steel is at least taking a little break. I don't know if we'll ever, ever actually get them back. I really, really hope so because they're one of my favorite teams. Ah, oh, man, that just sucks. Especially to see Riley upset like that and just have them both so bummed out. Especially, they scored 32 points and they still lost. I still can't get over that. My mind, like, I just can't. <sighs> but, that being said, at this point, there's not really anyone that can stop above the line, it seems like. Um, anyone that gets in their way is just getting taken out. So, can't really argue with that, I guess. And you know what? They jive together so well. Just watching them in these last couple matches, they just they just work. And they are fun to watch. They, they seem like they have a lot of fun together. So, I guess I'm just going to have to root for them now. That's just how this is going to have to go. Um, and honestly, the only reason it wasn't is because I've been a fan of Wolves of Steel for so long and Nerds Watch for so long that I just, I wanted them to win. But I guess now it's going to have to be above the line. Um, man, I really hope they get to play top 10 just because Roka and Sam have had this weird rivalry thing going on and I really, really want to see that come to a head. But... I also really want to see them play Team Action because I really love Team Action. <laughs> um, so I just do I just don't even know. This whole tournament is just so overwhelming. Like I just don't even know who to root for anymore or what's going on. It's just all madness. Um, but thank you guys for checking this out. Please leave your comments below. Let me know what you're making out of all of this that's going on. 
how you're feeling, are you okay, are you dying a little inside like me because Walls of Steel is gone, um, yeah. But I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching.